Now that we have already created two tables linked in a one-to-many relationship, it's time to create a many-to-many -many relationship. For that, we will create a new table for the invoices. And in this table, we'll put some general fields. So a text for a description, a date field, and let's also link it to the client. And let's save. Let's open the invoice table and create a new record. So now that we have the invoice table, we also want to link it to the products. So in this case, let's create also a new table for products. And let's insert here a text field for product name. And a number field for the pricing of this product. And let's see. So if we go to the products table, we can also create some new products. And let's call it product one with the pricing of 20 euro. So let's assign the number format for this field. Okay. Product two. that cost 30 euros. Okay, so now we want to link the invoice table with the products table in a many-to-many -many relationship. This means that one invoice can contain many products and one product can be contained in many invoices. So in order to do that, we'll go to the invoice table and create a subtable that is going to be a child table called invoice items and in this invoice items we will link it to the products table now let's save and create a new invoice item here so now that we have a new invoice item we can select the product that we want so let's select the product and let's add another product to this invoice item. So now we have an invoice item subtable with two products. We can display the product directly in our subtable. So let's show column and display the product's name. Okay. So now we already have a many-to-many -many relationship. This means that an invoice can contain many products and a product can be contained in many invoices. We can also assign the invoice information here. So in this case, we don't have the date, so let's just put a date here to assign this information. Okay, so we see that this, this product is assigned in this invoice. Now we can enrich this information. We already know that this invoice contains this product, but we can put also here the pricing per invoice item. So in this subtable, we will put some number fields for the unit price. the quantity and a formula that calculates the, the total price. So unit price times quantity. And let's call it total price. So we see here that the product one costs 20 euros. So let's put 20 here. The quantity will be three items for the product one, while the other item, the product two, is going to be 30 euro with the quantity of five, and that gives us 150. We can also insert this information directly on our subtable. So if we click on show column, we can display our unit price our quantity and our total price. 
and save changes. We can also sign a sum calculation in our total price here. So if we click here and click on sum, we will see the total amount for this invoice items. And let's now save changes. So here we can put the, our information for the invoice description. So this is invoice one and assign one of our clients. In this case, we see that all the information has been added for the client. So let's also assign this to be shown as only the, the client's name. And let's save this information and adjust the field as we need. Great, so now we have a many-to-many -many relationship between the invoice table and the products table and an enriched information for our invoice items. So we can see for each item, what is the unit price, the quantity, and the total price. With this, we can create many calculations. Going to our data model, we can see now that it has changed. We have added our invoice table, which is linked to our client. And in this invoice table, we have created a subtable, the invoice items table, which is linked to the product. This model represents a many-to-many -many relationship. Ninox.